folks, this is Ian Steele from the University of Ottawa, Emergency Medicine. Today I'm going to tell you about the Canadian CT head rule and how to apply it to your patients. The Canadian CT head rule was developed through a series of prospective uh, studies involving thousands of patients, culminated with a multi-center implementation trial. The Canadian CT head rule is only intended for patients who have suffered a, a classical minor head injury with one of witness loss of consciousness, amnesia for the injury, or confusion after the injury. It is not uh, intended for patients with minimal head injury where there's some blow to the head but no uh, neurological uh, symptoms. Therefore, uh, if they have only a minimal head injury, you don't need to consider a CT head except for patients on anticoagulants. We have developed this rule for patients who present initially with a GCS of 13 to 15, but of course, if they don't reach a GCS of 15 shortly thereafter, they'll need a scan, and only for injuries that occurred in the last 24 hours. The Canadian CT head rule should not be used for patients under 16 years of age who have had a minimal head injury without loss of consciousness, amnesia, or confusion, who have a GCS of less than 13, who have suffered major trauma to the head, chest, abdomen, femur, or have hypotension, or have oral anticoagulants, including warfarin and now the NOAX. Uh, the Canadian CT head roll is relatively uh, simple and comprised of five high-risk criteria and two medium risk criteria. The high risk criteria will identify anybody who needs uh, neurosurgical intervention and this includes having a GCS score 15 at two hours after the injury, uh, suspected open skull fracture uh, based on a directed blow with uh, an open wound, uh, any of the classical signs of basal skull fracture such as raccoon eyes, CSF leak, battle sign. Vomiting two or more episodes is not a good sign in adults and if the patient uh, is older with an age of 65 or greater. Larger hospitals with CT scans you're likely to scan somebody who has any of the two medium risk criteria uh, which includes amnesia before the impact of greater than 30 minutes or having suffered a dangerous mechanism which is defined as uh, a pedestrian struck by a vehicle, a motor vehicle occupant who's ejected, or a fall from an elevation of greater than one meter. The rule can be safely used for intoxicated patients as long as they're cooperative patients without a history of loss of consciousness, amnesia, confusion, rarely need a CT scan. And what this means is that patients over 65 do not need a scan just based on their age if they don't have a history of loss of consciousness, amnesia, or confusion. Now we're going to take the application of the Canadian CT head rule to the bedside. This is Jen. Jen is 30 and she fell off her bike this morning about an hour ago. And according to her friends, she was knocked out for about one minute. So Jen, can you tell me where you are and what the date and time is? Um, at the Civic Hospital, it's April 23rd, about noon. And do you remember what happened? Yeah, I was riding with my friends when I fell off my bike. And have you vomited at all since that time? No. And last question, are you on any blood thinners like warfarin? No, I'm not. Okay, Jen, so now I'm going to have a closer look at your head. And I believe it's a little bit tender there, the back where you fell. But we can tell because there's no blood that you don't have a, an open or depressed skull fracture. Now I'm going to look for any evidence of basal skull fracture, and I don't see any sign of raccoon eyes or CSF leak from your nose or your ears. I'm going to look on the right side here. I don't see any evidence of battle sign. There's no hemotympanum. Let's check the left side. Again, no battle sign and no evidence of hemotympanum. So in conclusion, we can say that Jan is negative for all five high-risk criteria as well as the 
to medium risk criteria of the Canadian CT head rule. And what that means, Jen, is that I'm quite confident that you do not need a CT of your head. Great. Bye bye.